three, two, one. What's up, Disrupt Nation? My name is Anthony Delgado, and today we have a special guest, Amit. Amit is a real estate uh, investor, and he is also creating an amazing show. It's called All in Miami. What makes the show different? So like, I'll give you a quick little thing about our, the people that are on it. So on my team, the 22 year old girl, her name is Jade. When I interviewed her to join my team, I asked her, so tell me what an ideal day would be for you. She's like, I wake up at five in the morning, I, I jog 15 miles, and then I'm ready to start my day. And so she was in my mind, hashtag the runner. 15 miles? Yeah, 15, 15 miles. Wow. Well, I started running when I was seven and uh, just kind of never stopped. I do around 12 miles a day, sometimes 13, sometimes longer. <laughs> um, but it's kind of how I clear my head and get in the zone for, you know, everything for my job and for my life. The first two miles are the hardest, but once you get past that, you have momentum and you could just go. You have momentum and you're going and you can really feel yourself accomplishing something. You discover who you are while you're running. You're going to run into obstacles. You're going to not want to continue, but it brings out your character and shows your true personality. So I have a few miles left. This is always the best part of the run <laughs> because you realize you know, how far you've come. And, and I think that it's interesting because especially, you know, being in real estate and being in high-end real estate, there are a lot of hard days, right? It's interesting because I have a client calling me at the moment while I'm recording. So we'll see, I'm gonna answer. All right, it was an accident. <laughs> the other guy on my team, his name's Will. Will is 24 years old. He's German and Hispanic, and he travels a lot. So he's hashtag the jet setter. I love traveling a whole lot because it's a great way to experience different cultures and different people. Being able to travel and see how other people are outside of what the news and mainstream media tells us is, is it's a refreshing experience. I'm gonna give you guys a few travel tips today that I thought about as I prepare for my trip to uh, Southeast Asia. The flight cost me $540. Everyone always asks me how I get flights for so cheap. I go to secretflying.com. If you're ready to just get on a flight spontaneously at any time, that's the perfect travel website to use. One very important thing about when booking your flights, Seat Guru, best website ever, it will tell you every airplane of every route that every airline is using. It's very important to get a travel adapter. I just have a universal one that fits four USB ports. It's super important that you get one that converts voltage. That is, I can't stress enough how important that is because the last thing you want is to start an outlet fire. Another thing I love traveling with, this is a, a great secret actually, is life proof cases. You can submit a warranty claim for pretty much anything I would imagine, but I've done it now. I've got three of these for free. All you pay is $5 on shipping and that is it. One of the most important things is getting your visas on time and making sure that you have all of them in your passport at all times. Something that I like to do as well with, is having multiple visas in separate uh, bags, not have it all together. What were you doing before real estate? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's sort of funny because so I, I went to college, I got a degree in finance, but after that, a friend of mine, she saw an ad for, it said college degree required. And we went to the interview, it didn't say what it was, and it, and it was to sell cars. So we were like, we went to college to sell cars, but at the end of the day, who cares, right? So I did that for 11 years, and I was you know, relatively successful, I was doing pretty well. And you don't, when you're young, you think everything's about money. So when I'm in my, I was like in my 20s, late 20s, and I'm making six figures, and I was like, oh, this is a great job, but I'm working like 80 hours a week. So I'm thinking it's not really that great a job. I'm working two jobs, you know? <laughs> 
I did that 11 years, but that helped me quite a bit. It, it taught me how to deal with people, how to um, get better at social and just everything else. So I'm hashtag the Indian realtor. We figured we'd put all these stories together, show some incredible homes, get to meet some people that are interesting, and go from there. A lot of times we, we don't see the backstory of people that are successful, and we think like it happened overnight, you know? And we're in the world of Kylie Jenner making, you know, so much money in such a short time, but we don't see that. Her mom took years. This was a plan for years and years and years. In real estate, everyone is telling you things aren't gonna work. Branding, it's so weird that you would think in real estate, branding is so important, but people don't use it as much as they should. And so for me, the challenge was believing in myself that it's gonna work. Um, yeah, I know we're running long, long time, but I do have one last question. Sure. And it's, what does disrupt mean to you? I've been used to that term disrupt because in my business, half the stuff I do, people tell me I'm crazy. That I'm not get, why are you doing that? You're not gonna make any money. Why are you spending 20 grand marketing that home? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? So to me, that's disrupting the industry by doing things that other people aren't doing to, to enjoy what I do more, to make the other person first and to make more money because of it. So uh, thank you again for being on the show. If you want to connect with you on social media, they want to follow your show, but where are the best places to connect? So they can go on Instagram and just do hashtag the Indian Realtor, R-E-A-L-T-O-R. So hashtag the Indian Realtor. Hashtag the Indian Realtor. Thank you so much again for being on the show, brother. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, take, take care. care.